to call it dry as a bone. All right, guys, this is the rigid NXT cordless nine gallon wet dry vac. Now, if anyone was going to come out with this, because this is really the first of its kind, guys, all right? Um, obviously, there's been wet dry vacs have been out for, you know, three, four years from the Milwaukee two gallon, the DeWalt, um, you know, the brand new Makita. That's a brushless little, you know, two gallon wet dry vac with HEPA, but I believe that new the, the new Milwaukee also has HEPA, but we also know about the Ryobi. Now, the, the one thing I want to mention here, okay, because I, if I don't mention it now, I know I'll forget, but if you've been watching me lately, you hear me talk about the price differences between Rigid and Ryobi lately, right? Seems like the Ryobi prices are going up, and the Rigid prices are slowly coming down. Now, the only reason I'm mentioning this, guys, is because this, okay, again, really the first of its kind. Now, we know Ryobi has a six gallon out, all right? Now, you can say, oh, you know, there's really not a big difference. You know, Ryobi came out with it two years ago. They're way ahead of Rigid here. I personally don't think so. Uh, this is a much more, not only is it nine gallon instead of six gallon, and I'm not bashing the Ryobi by any means, but to make a long story short, I think for the extra five dollars, all right, this is one hundred fourteen dollars. Okay, nine gallon wet dry vac with just a load of attachments, accessories. Um, this is the tug along um, dual flex locking hose. It's seven feet long. Um, you know, both ends ready to rock. Um, Sorry about that. The attachments here, you know, you got three wands, okay? Three locking extension wands. You get a car nozzle, a utility nozzle, and also a wet nozzle. Um, quick lock filter. And again, not only the, the is the three gallon size capacity, I think, worth, worth the extra $5. It's the fact that you can run this with two batteries. Now, it's an 18 x battery. Now, if you have two nines, I mean, you're running this with 18 amp hours, all right? So you're going to be able to run this thing for a long time, all right? Can't do that with the, with the Ryobi. But, you know, with these videos, guys, I try to, you know, I'm more of giving you options of what one, you know, would make more sense to you. It's not about what one is better than the other. It's just the features that separate this from the Ryobi. And you always hear me say it, guys. The one that's newer is usually better. That Ryobi is around two years old. Might be a little bit older than two years old. But, you know, if anyone was going to come out with really this full-sized, you know, nine-gallon, you know, basically a shop vac here, it was going to be rigid, obviously, right? They're in the shop vac business for a long, long time. But, you know, I think rigid really just, you know, slam dunked this here. And of course, you know, TTI. Now, not really sure if this is, you know, with the shop vac guys, right? And this is made in Mexico, by the way. But, you know, with the vacuums, right? TTI usually has nothing to do with the, sh with the vacuums, the shop vacs. So this is probably more of the parent company um, who, you know, designed this 
and who probably owns this this vacuum here or who's going to make all the money from it from when you go out and buy it but like i said you got a seven foot extension um hose here okay they call it the dual flex locking hose um i guess tug along is the company that makes it right there has a little tug along all right but um you get three uh extension uh wands like i said and you got your utility your car nozzle and your wet nozzle here all right nine gallons we're going to set it up you got all the wheels in here we're going to set this up and we're going to see her in some more action because obviously you just saw it suck up a whole bunch of water And yes, Emerson is the maker of this rigid 18-volt NXT cordless wet-dry vac. All right, guys. The best way to get the caster wheel into the caster foot is honestly just use a rubber mallet. Just one swift hit, and it'll go right into place. It's going to tell you to kind of push them. You're not going to be able to do that. All right, so just use a mallet. This is a rigid, guys, obviously, right? So you got that lifetime warranty, just like every other rigid product. Now, again, like I just said, this is made by Emerson, not TTI. But um, not surprised, like I said. Um, but real simple, guys, to kind of set this up. All right. And I love the design of it, guys. Like I said, it's basically like everyone out there owns a shop vac, right? This is the same circular design with the four casters that just spins, you know, very smoothly, very easily. Um, everything here, you got spots for on the caster uh, feet. You know, you could put the ones you want in the front, the ones you want in the back, you know, hose right up here. Right. Most of you are kind of going to probably keep some part of it kind of in here, locked in, ready to go. So, just like so. And, you know, you can kind of stick this over here. And you got the back. And, again, if you want, you can keep that other end in, out, whatever you want to do. But you got room here. Got your water nozzle, wet nozzle, and just like so, so pretty compact. Okay, and again, you can kind of put this any way you want. Um, nice compact design. Again, you could take this out if you want and just kind of stick it up there. But most of you're probably going to keep this locked and loaded, ready to go. All right, let's see some more of it in action. All right, guys, real quick, tells you the filter it needs when you need a replacement. All right, VF4000, VF5000, VF6000, or your VF7000. Got this nice handle here. Like I said, I got two batteries hooked up to it. Got your five, you got your nine. On, off button, pretty simple. Super light. Again, you don't have to worry about any extension cords or anything like that. We're going to do one of our favorite little applications here what let's um let's just use Like 
three inch deck screws. Awesome guys. Alright guys, another cool thing. Check this out guys. So if you have the Milwaukee 18 volt backpack vacuum, it also works with your new rigid 9 gallon cordless NXT wet dry vac. Alright, super simple. Slide her in and now you got that nice extension. Alright, turn her on for me there, champ. Hit the button. No, leave it on. Leave it on. Hit the button on the vacuum. Oh. Just another awesome feature, guys. I mean, again, you have the wet, um, the backpack vac from Milwaukee. Now you, you're just even more versatile. All right, and I can. All right, guys. Um, one thing I wanted to uh, tell you guys real quick: if you have the old 18 volt, three gallon wet dry vac, all right, um, maybe. You don't want this, you don't like the tag along seven foot hose or whatever. Or maybe you just lost it. Who the heck knows? And maybe you just want a shorter hose. Now I can tell you one thing, the hose on the three gallon. I don't know. I like this. I, I think it's a better hose, a better built hose, but Again, nothing wrong with the hose that comes with it, but I just want to let you know that it is fully capable to work with this um, nine gallon. All right, so the three gallon hose will work with the nine gallon, as you can see right here. All right, um, to check to open it up, you got these two clips, just like really any other shop back guys. Take a look inside, and that's everything that we sucked up. Now this is gonna be a pain in the neck for me to get this back into my Milwaukee low profile pack out case. But it's all for you. One thing guys, real quick, and I wanna just double check or give an update, not an update, but I said in the beginning of this video that the Ryobi was $109. That is correct, but this is also $109. Okay, so this nine gallon wet dry vac now this has 82 cfm okay uh comparing it to the ryobi the six gallon again not bashing that unit at all it's a great unit i just think again they're both the same exact price they're both 109 dollars 
Not only you're getting three more gallons of capacity, you get all these different attachments. And again, you got that, you know, if you own the, the rigid compressor, right? You know, you can kind of hook, hook two batteries up to it. So rigid is really kind of using this. Now, I love it. It's still an 18 volt wet dry vac or an 18 volt compressor. But once that battery dies, the other one's ready to go. But, you know, this has 82 CFM. The Ryobi has 80. So really not a big difference power wise. But again, with the two batteries, um, the, the extra three gallons of capacity, I just don't know why you would. And it's, it's, I don't want to even say that. It's just, it seems very weird. It seems like the Ryobi prices seem to be going up or rigid seems to be going down. Maybe it's a combination of both. Not really sure, but you know, we know there's a big price uh, difference between the two, but just, just around a year ago. But right now, a little, little, little different. So just to keep that in mind. All right, we're gonna suck up some water now. Make sure, it's always a good idea. Always take your filter out, all right? Real simple. So easy to lock this on, guys. Snaps right in. All right, this is the old um, hose. We're gonna put the tag along seven foot hose that comes with the unit. All right, step one over here, buddy. All right, there's three and a half gallons of water in this Lowe's. I'm sorry, it's not Home Depot, but it's Lowe's. What are, what are we gonna do? All right, let's see if it can handle. That's what you call dry as a bone. All right, guys. There she is. Three and a half gallons, okay, guys? Like it was really nothing. 82 CFM. So it doesn't matter what side you put your battery on. It's going to work no matter what. All right, this is a great feature, guys, that Rigid's offering. Like I said, they use it on the compressor. Now they're using it on the um, their 9-gallon wet dry vac. It's, it's just a, another feature that makes life easier. It's as simple as that. And that's what, you know, technology aims to do. And these newer products are always getting better. And, um, you know, guys, like I said, $109, same exact price as the Ryobi. And probably for the third time, nothing against the Ryobi, guys. But I think for them being the same price, and if you're in both platforms, now, again, you know, a lot of people are just in one or the other, right? And obviously, they're both great options. But, you know, a lot of people have a couple rigid tools. They have a couple, you know... Ryobi tools. So if you're kind of have a couple batteries from both of them, um, you know, just feature wise, this gives you a lot more. All right, a little bit more CFM, 82 to 80. Um, attachment wise, uh, you got that nice seven foot hose. And remember, the old rigid hose from their 18 volt three gallon wet dry vac works with this also. Okay, um, but you got the dual batteries. So when one you know, 18 amp hours. Obviously, I have 14 right here, 9 plus 5, but two nines, man. And as big as these batteries get, guys, there's nothing stopping this. So if they come out with a 15 amp hour battery at some point, this is going to be able to run on 30 amp hours. But, guys, great for the cars, great for, you know, the workshop. Uh, again, you know, spills, you know, 
basements that kind of get some water from, you know, rain flooding, you know, kids dropping water. You can, all oh, it's just an excellent tool to have uh, in the house um, for really anybody. You know, you just, you don't have to just be in a trade or a DIY guy. Um, if you're looking for a, a really nice wet dry vac without the hassles of a cord, this is definitely probably one of the best options out there right now. $109. Okay. The Milwaukee is $99 for a two gallon for another $10. I mean, it's a no brainer. Lifetime warranty, 82 CFM and seven different attachments, seven foot hose, um, wet nozzle, utility nozzle, um, just three extension wands. It's a no-brainer, guys. All right? Any comments or questions, let me know. We'll catch you on the next one.